Welcome back to my Unreal Engine first person animation tutorial series. So, yeah, in the last part we created a holographic scope and attached it onto our Desert Eagle. So, um, I found a little problem, or someone in the comments uh, said that, that the holographic scope is so in the wrong rotation, and that's, that's right. So, just rotate it like 180 degrees like so and now it's in the right rotation and position and yeah so in this part we will go on and uh, we already have set up a little fire oh a little fire yeah function thing oh i have to do that that is old so um yeah as you can see here our weapon with the holographic scope and when we shoot this is goddamn loud, but uh, you can see the weapon is uh, like static and he's holding it in his hand like still and don't move. So we have to um, do a little animation to our weapon so the slider is, is, is get pulled back and like fires the bullet and a bullet and also our hands are like snapping a little back because of the recoil. So let's do that in this episode. So let's go into our folder and then go to our weapon Desert Eagle and into the Desert Eagle blend file like this. So here you can see uh, our Desert Eagle and we already have rigged it in the first episode. So also you can uh, I would really appreciate if you would write a little comment how is it going with your projects and how does it work uh, in your projects with the tutorial series so yeah so we go into uh, to the animation tab and um, yeah we find the slide is this a slide I'm not sure yeah so this is our slide and let's delete this animation I don't know what it is so go to desert eagle animation and right click this and delete I don't know what this is like a little bug so let's create a new and call it fire and also but no, no first let's create an idle because when the weapon is loaded the uh, hammer here will be pulled down so uh, let's enable fake user and also auto keying so Let's go to the first frame and press A and insert and insert all frames with location and rotation. So let's pull this a little down and this is our idle animation. So we don't have to do something uh, with this. So let's create a new animation call it fire and also enable fake user. So um, in the first frame let's also insert all bones. And let's go to the second frame and just grab our slide and pull uh, pull it a little back and also the hammer will be snapped uh, up. Yeah, like so. And then some frames further we will just copy the frames from the beginning. So now we can see it shoots. And also you have to set the end here so the start is 1 and the end is 5. So now we have a fire animation and an idle animation. So let's first uh, go with the idle. So go to object mode, select your armature, file, export, fbx. And let's rename it to desert eagle fire and Or is it? Oh no, it's idle, okay. Idle enum. Uh, limit to selected objects. Uh, the smoothing will be on the edge, but this is not... Uh, we don't need that. So, uh, yeah. Add leaf bones, uh, untick this, and bake animations. Yeah, uh, tick this. So, Let's export it and let's also export the fire. 
file export fbx and the fire ml. All right, so now we have two animations and let's create here another folder called animations and let's import them. So here they are. Let's import them with the desert eagle skeleton and import and we have four animations because oh yeah okay we only have to export it one time because now they are yeah they're duplicated so but this is not the idle animation you can see here okay so let's delete this yeah delete this is our idle animation you can see nothing is moving this is the fire no this is not the fire so let's delete this and this is the fire animation all right so now we have our animations properly set up so now we can just go into our base weapon class <coughs> and let's create two variables the first variable will, will be the idle montage and the variable type is anim montage the second is also a, an anim montage and is and it's called fire anim fire montage like so and now let's go ahead oh, whoops this is old so let's create a custom event and call this fire um now let's go after that grab our base mesh and just play an animation so the animation will be our fire montage like so and let's say at the beginning play also we play an animation and that is our idle montage here and our default base mesh so now let's go into our desert eagle and let's set here the montage oh we have to create them first so let's go to the desert eagle animation and let's right click and create an a montage for both so like this and <coughs> let's select them here so idle montage and fire montage compile and save and now let's go into our character and after our fire trace here grab this pin say fire plug that in and I think that should work now so let's look so yeah you can see oh it's so loud we have to let's do something with the vol volume and uh, this is so loud for me so let's just uh, look it's here um, sound pistol pistol fire so let's say for the volume uh, 0 0.4 yeah it's it's better so 0 0.2 maybe yeah so that's good and now we can see that our uh, slide is pulled back but we can also see that the hammer is like not in the position that we set so we have a little pl problem here so we just go ahead and enable looping here maybe so let's have a quick look now at the first we can see that the hammer here is pulled back when we shoot but it's gone up again so um maybe we have to all right so let's create a 
a animation blueprint for our desert eagle so just a little easy one so right click animation animation blueprint and for our desert eagle create and the name is desert eagle underscore nmvp all right so now let's just grab our idle animation plug that in and then just uh, say slot default slot compile save so now we can uh, play montages here and now let's say in our character and uh, in the weapon base sorry uh, under fire let's say play montage the montage to play is this and we can delete this compile and save and now we all also have to set up the blend time because then it will be like not that quick so it will blend a little bit so let's set this to zero so it looks better okay so now nothing will work because default slot save ah we have to set the nmvp into our uh, base into our desert eagle here so set this here compile save and now as you can see it works pretty fine so you can see the weapon is loaded the hammer is pulled back when we shoot it gets pulled forward and also the slide will uh, get pulled back backwards so this looks good and now we have to animate a new animation for our hands and also what i want to say it's really freaking me off this uh <coughs> this breathing with the arm it looks so so bad because i don't know we have to we we did something wrong so what i want to say this is not what i wanted to do so in the next episode we will fix it it's pretty easy just something with a spring arm i don't know how could that happen so yeah they're a little unrealistic how they go up and down but we we will do this in the next episode so uh, let's close the band blender file and let's go into our fps animations here and yeah so here's our desert eagle and we only have the idle animation here so let's create a fire animation so let's go into edit mode uh, post mode sorry and create a new animation call it fire oh no fire enable fake user and also auto keying and let's set the first frame and insert location and rotation now let's go one frame further and grab our right arm so everything would just move with it and just uh, pull it a little like so so it's pulled a little back to the bottom and just rotates a bit to the to the top uh, so just copy the first frame again go a little frames further and paste it again so let's set the end to, th uh, to six and now you can see how he is shooting but i want to pull it a little more to the camera yeah i think this this looks pretty good because this is a desert eagle it has much recoil and it's a pretty pretty heavy weapon um so it's i don't know i think it's a pretty pretty uh hard and also makes really really much damage uh the desert e desert desert <laughs> eagle <laughs> so the action prefix uh, prefix will be fp desert eagle and make sure you have a little space here at the end and now let's press ok did i press ok yeah okay so let's go into unreal first person uh mesh first person arms animations here and import the fire animation so mannequin arms import all and this looks yeah 
this looks fine. So go back and let's also create a montage for this. And also let's disable the blend time. So let's go into our character, grab our uh, FP arms. Let's also say play montage. The montage is our fire montage and I think we have to set this up in our anim blueprint. So in the anim graph, oh yeah, we can see slot arms is here. So we have to set the default group arms. Save and now when we shoot, you can see it's shooting. Yeah, it's a little too much, I think. So not that much to the back. Maybe a little more so and a little more to the bottom. No, not that much. Maybe more like so. Or maybe a little to the side. Ah, oh, no, no. Little so. Maybe like this. So let's export this again. First, we have to delete it, I think. So delete and export it again. And let's re import this animation. Whoa, this is so fast. And also it works when we're aiming because we have uh, set up our procedural aim. So that should also work. Okay, so that was the tutorial. I hoped I hope it helped you. So now it's looking pretty decent with the shooting here. And yeah, I don't know what we're doing in the la in, in the next episode. Uh, so the next episode will be tomorrow. I don't know what I will do, but yeah, you can write some ideas in the comments below what I should do in the next episode or in the uh, future episodes. So I think we're done and have a good day and bye bye.